July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Over the weekend, dozens of people stopped by the historic Stafford House in Paintsville to get a history lesson in Native American culture. There were demonstrations of Native American dance and music, as well as the opportunity to view the traveling Kentucky Native American Heritage Museum full of artifacts from the people who once lived here. Well, all of uh, uh, the eastern part of the state of Kentucky, the Cherokee at one time inhabited pretty much all of it. Phillips said for him, the museum gives him the opportunity to educate as well as dispel many myths about the early inhabitants of our region. No, no native people lived here. It was just a hunting ground. Uh, and on the other hand, the people down at the reservation said, no, we lived there. Um, and now they found a lot of village sites and things. And so I don't know why they still have that. The Kentucky Encyclopedia says that no Native Americans lived here. Why they haven't changed that with all the evidence they have now, I don't know. Visitors were able to purchase Native American jewelry, sample authentic recipes, and listen to stories about the past. This is a uh, bone and it was used for protection like armor because before um, the white man came we actually had battles with each other. They also wore um, uh, chokers. It protected our neck in case they snuck up on us. Before. The event was presented by Paintsville Tourism and the Paintsville Trail Town Committee, who wanted to fill a gap they believe exists in local classrooms. Here in this area, in, in particular in Johnson County, there's an extensive history of Native Americans from the Adena, the Yucasi, the Shawnee, the Choctaw, and the Cherokee. Reporting in Paintsville, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.